I was just looking at this three and a half horse Prison Stratton here and uh, doing a little valve job on it there. I uh, lapped both valves and then uh, was just cleaning off the uh, intake valve seat there and uh, it started spinning. So uh, I know that can be a big problem. Eventually it can bore its way right down in. I have one block that uh, did that so I uh, got a got a flat blade screwdriver out there and uh, was able to uh, pry the seat out so now I'm going to put a little bit of JB weld in there and uh, put it back in and stake it in place so show you how I do my uh, seat repair there and hopefully it'll work so I've got the JB weld uh, in the valve seat there I didn't put very much in because uh, it's probably like <clears throat> half a thousandth of an inch loose so it's all going to come squirting out when I uh, press the seat in anyways so I just wanted a little bit of sealer there because sometimes you can get a little just a little uh, gap and it'll let uh, air hiss out and uh, usually affects it during starting and uh, compression would bleed compression off so I just wanted to try to prevent that if possible. Well the valve seat sure went in a lot easier than it came out. It just uh, pressed right in by hand. Just uh, almost almost slid in the hole. So then you make sure that it's seated. And as you can see there most of the JB weld has come out. But now I will start to stake it in there. I want to do this while the JB weld still uh, soft so that it can uh, harden up in the right uh, position. So I'm part way done staking it in there just using a uh, regular uh, center punch. Of course you want it uh, relatively sharp. Basically you just uh, start out one side and do a couple couple hits there so that you balloon the aluminum out over top of the uh, steel valve seat. Uh, you, you don't want to be right on top of it but basically you know just uh, close to it and once you do a couple you'll you'll get the hang of it there uh, you see and then just work your way around about every eighth inch spacing or so and uh, just uh, get enough of them there and uh, hopefully when you're done it'll uh, stay put well there I've uh, done as much as I'm going to I'm not going to do any in uh, the area between the valves there it's pretty close and uh, I just don't think it needs it now I need to uh, wipe the excess JB weld out of the uh, seat area there, uh, making sure I don't get it anywhere that I don't want it. But uh, and uh, I imagine uh, this engine will run just fine. I'll be uh, testing this engine on an upcoming uh, Franken Briggs uh, project there, so I'll uh, let you know which one it is at that time, so you can uh, see the results. Just wanted to mention one more thing. Uh, the reason I've done this is that the the valve seat will uh, rotate around as it gets loose, and it can eventually bore its way right down into the block. And once it gets, you know, 16th inch clearance or could be less, it'll just start vibrating around in a circle, and uh, compression will leak out past it. It'll get to the point where the engine probably won't even run. That may have been why this engine was in the scrapyard, and as I say, this this one wasn't uh, what I would consider extremely loose. So, uh, if you uh, get to it before it's uh, very loose, you can uh, save the engine because once it's uh, bored itself uh, oversized, the engine block is pretty well done. It would cost uh, too much to try to repair it at that point. So that's why we uh, we stake them in like this. It's to prevent rotation of the valve seat uh, in the engine block.